Hello and welcome to our very first Adeptus Titanicus Battle Report. We hope you enjoy the show. A uh, couple of points of order here. Please be gentle. This is our first battle report, and so we're excited to bring it to you. But also, in our enthusiasm, we might have forgotten a rule or two or gotten a couple things wrong. Um, and we're learning how to get all the, uh, the recordings done efficiently and effectively. So, hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed making it for you. Tim brought his Legio Metallica, and I'm playing my Legio Vulturum. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the action. Here are the forces for Metallica. Hey, this is Tim. So, my Legio uh, faction is Metallica. We are loyalists, and we're doing the Extergamus battle, battle Line Manifold. So, that Manifold allows me... Uh, I can, after it makes an attack with a weapon without the melee trait, I can increase the strength value of a weapon by two for the duration of the attack. It can, it must be declared before rolling to hit, and if it does so, its Titan reactor increases by one or by two if it has a dice value of five or greater. So, my mana pull allows me three warlords. So, warlord number one. Is, has two Sun Fury Plasma Annihilators. The Carapace is a paired Gatling Blaster, which allows it a total of 505 points. My Princep Senior's uh, personal trait is favored by fortune. Uh, the next one uh, is a uh, Mori Quake Cannon Warlord with a Bellicoso Volcano Cannon as well. It has Apocalypse Missile Launchers. And it has the upgrade of tracking gyroscopes, which gives it a total of 500 points even. The third Warlord is double macro Gatling Blasters and Apocalypse Missile Launchers with tracking, tracking gyroscopes as well, which brings it to 485 points, which means my total is 1,490 points. Let's review the forces of Legio Vulturum. This is my 1500 point Volturum traitor list. The allegiance, of course, is traitors. Uh, the maniple is a Myrmidon battle line maniple. That gives me a couple of different things. So basically, I have two warlords and then an optional reaver. So the basic gist here is that it gets plus two on first fire or split fire orders. It's not modified by other rules, which is very handy given that I've got a couple of highly um, corrupted titans. So my princeps. Senioris is a warlord carrying a Mori Quake Cannon, a Bellicosa Volcano Cannon, and APOC Missile Launchers on the Carapace. The upgrades are a Tracking Gyroscope, which allows the um, APOC Missile Launchers to become um, ARC. The base mutation for this Corrupted Titan is a Frozen Soul, which gives him plus two repair dice on Venting Plasma only. And the additional mutation on this one is a Chitinous Carapace, which is plus 20 points. That Warlord is 535 points. My Princeps Senior's personal trait is Dominant Strategist. My second Warlord is in the Myrmidon Maniple is one with two Plasma Sun Fury Annihilators on each arm. He's got a paired Gatling Blasters up on the roof. And the upgrades are Frozen Soul, which again gives him plus two repair dice, and which can only be used for venting plasma and an additional mutation of Preternatural Regeneration, which gives him plus two repair dice for any repair um, actions he does during the game. The final Titan for this maniple is a Reaver. He's got a Melta Cannon and a Gatling Blaster on the arms and a Vulcan Mega Bolter. I did not upgrade that with the Vulturum Storm Frag shells, which is atypical for me. Um, the other upgrades are he's got a Bastion's Shielding for plus 10 points, which allows him once per game to go Voids to Full for no push. His base mutation is Frozen Soul, which again is plus 2 Repair Dice on Venting Plasma only, and Preternatural Regeneration with plus 2 Repair Dice per Repair Phase for a total of 395 points. That puts my list at 1,500 points on the nose. Let's go over the mission and deployment rules. Today's mission is Engage and Destroy. The enemy battle groups have sighted each other on long-range sensors and are on attack vector to destroy one another. Scoring victory points in this mission is as follows. At the end of the battle, you score victory points for each enemy unit that has been structurally compromised or completely destroyed. 
Structurally compromised units grant a number of victory points equal to their scale. Destroyed units grant a number of victory points according to the table as shown. There's also a secondary mission objective. If you have more than half your Titan scale worth of Titans at the end of the game, you score an additional 5 victory points. Today's deployment map is the standoff map. Each player has a triangular deployment zone in which to deploy their forces. Each player first deploys first half of their forces and then allows the other player to place their first half and then finishes up their deployment. Okay, here is our table. We're ready to deploy. We've set up our deployment zone. So this is the loyalist deployment zone here. Over there is the traitor deployment zone. You can kind of see the dice demarcating that line. So we are going to roll D10 to see who takes first deployment. Traitors are three and the loyalists are 10. All right, Tim, you get... All right, we have deployed. So uh, traitors have deployed over here, kind of in this line. we got the... Gatling Plasma, the um, Gatling Melta um, Mega Bolter Reaver right here, and then we've got the uh, Bellicosa Apoc Quake Warlord right there. So uh, over here, Tim, we've got your uh, C Cry uh, Princeps Senioris, right? Or uh, Prin Princeps? Senior. Princeps Senioris right there, right in the middle. And then your Apoc Gatling guy, and then uh, your... Um, Apoc, uh, Quake, and Bellicosa, right? Yep. Okay, so we are deployed and we are ready to go into first turn. Okay, we are now rolling for first turn priority. Uh, let's see, D10s. I rolled a seven and you rolled a five. Okay, um, I believe I am going to take first turn. Turn one, I am the first player, so I'm going to take the Titanicus symbol and set it over on my side. We're doing strats in order, so uh, first player, I am not gonna play any stratagems. Tim, how about you? I also am not gonna play any stratagems. Okay, so no stratagems are gonna move over to orders. Um, I am going to place a first fire order on my Princeps Senioris. I'm going to do that on a command check of two plus based on my Myrmidon maniple. No, Based on rules, I don't have to ch change my Myrmidon uh, Maniple Titans to any different than a 2+, plus based on mutation. So, 2 up, see if I get first fire. I do, with a 6. Alright, so he gets first fire. Tim, any orders for your Titans? Uh, yes, I'm going to give my uh, Bellicosa Volcano Cannon and uh, Quake Cannon yep. first fire as well. Okay, let's see what you get. And you're rolling on a three, I want to say? that's a four. You're good, you're good. Okay. Um, for me, I think... I don't think I'm going to give myself any other orders. How about you? I am going to try to give my Plasma Titan full stride. Full stride. All right, on a three. Hi. You good. All right. All right, for my first activation, I am going to take this Warlord and I am going to go power to locomotor. So I'm going to roll my heat dice. So he gets a power to locomotors for free. So I'm going to move him six inches in my front arc. Right there. All right, Volcano Code. Cannon Warlord is going to first fire, and he is going to use his Apoc Launchers on the Reaver. On this Reaver over here? Yep. Well, the only Reaver on the table. Okay, fantastic. So you're first firing. What do you get? Uh, so he is at long range, which means he gets plus one ballistic skill, so yep. he will get nine hits. Nine hits. All right. So my Reaver is shields on a three, right? Yep. Shields on a three, so nine hits. Thank you. There we go. No, you're good. Okay, I need threes on these. Uh, so I see two twos. Keep me honest. Yep. All right, two twos. So that means my reaver goes down two on the voids. Next up, I activate this reaver and go power to locomotors for no heat and push him up nine inches. All right. Uh, Plasma Warlord is going to power the locomotors. Okay, let's see what you get. For one. For one heat. So 
All right, so you get it. You do your turn, your one turn, and you move. Yep. All right, All for right. my last activation, I'm going to activate my uh, Princeps Senioris, and he is going to do, he's going to enact his first fire order. So he's going to fire his APOC missile launchers against your Gatling Warlord. So that's, uh, he's at long range, he's 36 inches. So he is hitting on two 10 dice. All right, so that is everything but one. So that is nine shots against your void shields. One. All right, he's gonna void shields to full. Okay. For, For free. Well. All, right. All right. So nine hits, nine saving hits. on threes. Oh. Oh, that's so hot. There's four misses. And get to reroll those. Ones. Oh, that's right, because your voids. Okay, right. you're actually good. So you missed two of them. So two. Yep. Okay. Two and that hits. puts your voids at. Are you in four ups now? Uh, still three plus. Oh, still three plus. Oh, warlords are so good. All right, that is my turn. I think you've got one more Titan. Okay, so Tim, for your last Titan, you elected to move. So you moved your four inches, and yep. then you decided to what? I decided to push my reactor. Yeah. Which, so you, uh, you rolled. Which awakened the machine spirit. And really did. And I failed the command check. You really did. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens. So on a six, Wrathful... Uh, Chooses one of my Titan's weapons that has not been disabled and attacks with it. Attack! Using a ballistic skill of 4+. Plus. All right. So, going to be firing my Apox because of the Awakened Machine Spirit. Yep. Uh, hitting on 4s normally because of Awakened Machine Spirit. Mm -hmm. But hitting on 5s because he is 25% obscured because of the crane that's in the way. Right. So, hitting on 5s. 10 dice on 5s. There's a hit right there. Looks like 4. 4 hits? Okay. Okay, that Reaver's been hitting the shields before, so now I'm saving on fours. Um, I lose one shield. All right, damage control phase completed. So a little bit, uh, not a whole lot of interesting damage to repair. So essentially my Reaver with Frozen Soul and Preternatural Regeneration repaired everything except for one Plasma Heat. So uh, he took three Void Shields and uh, two Heat, or one Heat, excuse me. Didn't repair the heat, but he's uh, completely back up to full on the voids. Uh, same with the Warlord. He's back up to full on voids and uh, plenty cool on heat. Tim, tell me a little bit about your uh, your heat. Yeah, the uh, Gatling Warlord here, uh, he managed to get both of his shields back that he lost and also uh, got one of his heat back, so he's only minus one heat. And then the uh, Sun Fury Warlord managed to get all of his heat back, so. Fantastic, you are up to full on everything. All right, that was damage control, on to the combat phase. All right, I am going to activate this Warlord first as part of the combat phase. He is exactly 24 inches away from your Gatling Sun Fury Warlord. So I am going to shoot my paired Gatling Blasters on the roof, that's 12 dice. There is no modifier at the, um, at the long range. So I need threes to hit you on 12 dice. Uh, let's see, that's not half bad. Um, there's a miss there, there's a miss there. So that's actually 10 hits on thine shields. All right, 10 hits onto your void shields. What are we doing? All right, void shields to full. Void to full! Ooh, the double heat. All right, double heat on that warlord, 10 hits. Threes. Oh dear. You get to reroll those ones though. Yeah, I do. Good thing. Yep. Oh, good. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. So two hits. So to his voids. two hits to your voids. All right. Next up, his right arm, uh, Sun Fury Plasma, four hit or four shots, needing threes. Uh, that is plus one heat. Oh, actually, no, it's not plus one heat. Excuse me, because I didn't go maximal fire. So that's just two hits for that one. Right, so two and hits from Plasma. Uh, mm. one failed void again. One failed void. And he's down to you're, two. Are you at four up now? I'm at four up now. All right. Plasma cannon. Left-handed uh, Sun Fury Plasma. Four shots again. Needing threes. Uh, three hits. And that's another three uh, three hits to your shields. All Which right. Is... We're at four plus right now. Yep. And... Uh, you only lose one. Loses one. Yep. So, he's not quite out. Okay, you are probably still on four-ups? Yep, still on four-ups. Last pip of your four-ups, okay. So, 
I'm going to activate this Warlord. Uh-huh. Uh, APOC missile launchers at the Reaver here. Okay, and yeah. he's a little bit obscured from these uh, towers here. So from the APOCs, we said it was 25% obscured. Yep. All right, so you need fours. Looking for fours, that is. Oh, my lordy. Um, One. Wow, Tim. Um, so <laughs> he's... Uh, I love you. Um, he's uh, Void Shields of three ups. <laughs> of course, of course I don't make it. So uh, he's down one void. All right, so he's going to fire the uh, uh, Mori Quake Cannon. Okay. The same Reaver. He is yep. 50% obscured, so we're looking for fives. Five to hit. And he misses. And misses, but we're going to scatter that bad boy. So I'm assuming you just want it right on the top? Yeah. Okay. Now the sixth going that way which will miss it i think that's going to be like completely off but we'll confirm off camera uh, all right we we checked that scatter and it was way off just to confirm so on to the volcano cannon all right volcano cannon needs a five you said uh yep which okay will miss miss it takes one power okay whoa let's re-roll yeah re-roll that one it kind of cocked so three, three inches that might actually do something is that the three inch or the five inch on that guy That's five, inch. five inch okay so if we put it right there uh let's we're going to call that one hit it's not the the hole is not over it but it's one hit all right all right one hit on the reavers voids from the bellicosa volcano cannon still on a three we're good okay i am going to activate my reaver titan we just measured it at my reaver titan is going to attack your plasma um, Gatling Warlord. So we measured it. He's 20 and a half inches. So my Vulcan Mega Bolter is out of range at a long range of 20 inches. So I am going to use my Gatling Blaster and attack your Warlord. It is 25% um, obscured because of cover. Yep. All right, rolling six dice to hit. I need fours. Um, so that's three hits. All right. All right. And then you have one more Void Shield, I want to say. Yep. Five? Four plus. Four plus. Oh, oh, voids are down. All right, for this reaver, uh, the only gun I have left that's in range is the uh, Melta Cannon, 20 and a half inches. I get one dice, strength 11, list of skill three, 25% obscured. I need a four to hit. Hits. All right, so that's two hits, right? Because it is yep. a blast three. So that means I need to roll two dice with location. That is strength 11. Oh, double Twelve. one. <laughs> Story of my life. All right, so Gatling Warlord will activate. He's going to fire his Apox at that Reaver over there. Right. Uh, like last time, 40 for 25% obscured, so hitting on fours here. For the Apox, yep, hitting on fours. Oh, dearie. All right, we're... We're still rolling better than the other warlord. But okay, how many great. hits do we got there? So we got four hits. Okay, I feel like I want to do um, power to voids. All right. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to do that. Um, oh, for two, for two heat, lovely. All right, I've got power to the voids, uh, power to my shields, um, four hits. Rolling on, still rolling on threes, but re-rolling ones here. Uh, saved them all but one, but that's a one, so I got a chance. All right. Voids took it. All right. Uh, now two Gatlings at that uh, Reaver. Okay, first Gatling. First Gatling. 50% obscured, so we're looking for fives and sixes. Looks like got you got three, three of them. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm just going to take those. Um, I need threes. Oh, so I take one void shield. I think I'm on fours now. All right, so I did take one void shield. I'm uh, saving voids on fours now. One more Gatling. All right, hitting on fives. Uh, just two hits. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm not going to push. I need fours. Oh, <laughs> All right, where does that leave me? That puts me on my void shields are down. Void shields for the Reaver are down. My last activation is going to be my uh, Princeps Signoris. He is going to activate and attack 
that warlord with the apox and the gatlings. So he is going to fire his apox. It's over 30 inches, so he's hitting on two. Ten dice. Um, a couple misses in there. Two misses. All right, so you have eight dice with, in which to save with shield. All right, so Gatling Warlord, void shields to full from eight shots. Sweet. For free! And uh, you're pretty good. I see two misses there, yeah. Unfortunately, so I, void shields to full didn't do him any good. But. Not a whole lot of good, but are you still on threes or are you on yep. fours yet? Still on threes. Still on threes, all right. Okay, um... Did a little bit of work on the shields, but not enough, so we're still saving on threes on those shields, so I might as well try to keep stripping shields. I'm not worried about the Bellicosa gaining heat because I got Frozen Soul and uh, more repair dice on this guy, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So he's going to use his uh, Mori Quake Cannon, shooting that uh, Warlord as well, hitting on threes. Hits. That's two hits um, against your shields. All right, two hits on the Gatling shields. Uh, ooh, ooh, one goes through. One lost. Okay, and does that change your shield? Profile? Yeah, so he'll be on four now. He'll be on four. Now. Okay, now, um, now I'm going to shoot the Bellicosa. So I need threes on that, and it is draining, I believe. Yeah. Draining. So I am going to roll the uh, reactor dice with that. So I need a three. Uh, hits, and I get one heat. So that's actually two hits. One heat, two hits. So I hit you, and so. You are now rolling on fours for shields. All right, two shield hits. And he takes them both. Takes them both. I think oh, no. his shields are down. Oh, no. Just real quick for Tim's last activation, that warlord was on full stride order, so he just moves straight forward four inches. So that is board state at the end of the combat phase. The end phase for this turn, uh, neither of us have critical damage or anything interesting like that, so we're just going to move on into... Um, rolling for uh, priority for the next turn. So let's grab our D10s. And uh, let's see who goes first. Second turn. You roll a five. I rolled a four. So you get to choose, sir. I will take the first turn. All right. All right. Top of turn two. Uh, Tim, you are first player. We did strats and orders. So we're just going to do a quick recap. Uh, Tim, you want to tell us what your strats and orders were? Sure. So we put a treasure clan over here. Yep. Um, and these two warlords uh, did emergency repairs. Yep. Uh, this guy got three shields back. He managed to restart his shields, got mm -hmm. three back, and he vented one plasma. So is he on full shields and cool plasma, or where's he at? Uh, he's green on his plasma reactor, but he's missing one. And okay. he's three plus on his shields, but he's minus two shields. Gotcha. And then this guy... Rolled uh, like a champion. Was awesome. He got four shields back. Right. You rolled like, four, you did emergency repairs and he rolled four sixes, yep. which was amazing. And so that guy over there, no orders, no strats, right? No like orders, that. no strats. Okay, so over on my side, I placed a stratagem blind barrage. I placed it on that Reaver Titan. And then um, I also tried to do a first fire order on him. I rolled a one and so failed. And so no more orders allowed for me. And so that was the end of my strats and orders. All right, movement phase, quick recap. Tim, tell us about your stuff. Uh, so movement phase, uh, this warlord moved a little way forward. Four inches up, yeah. Uh, and these two warlords stayed still so they can shoot. Right, so you did emergency repairs there so you can either move or shoot. Yep. So they're just going to stand still. So for me, I did power of lo power to the locomotors on that uh, reaver. So he moved up nine inches. His um, reactor is at orange right now. I'm not sure that that was the best of ideas, but that's what I did, and uh, that's, I said what I said. Um, so this guy uh, moved up uh, his four inches and then turned a little bit to face the oncoming warlord. So he just did a regular move. This warlord over here, he's just going to stay put and lob um, fiery death um, all day long. So that is our movement phase. Now we're going to go into our repair phase. Turn two, damage control phase. Tim, what happened to your Titans? So my uh, Bellicosa Cannon Warlord vented all of his heat. He's mm -hmm. totally fine. Okay. Uh, Plasma Warlord uh, only vented heat. He still is down two shields. Mm -hmm. And then the Gatling uh, Warlord managed to vent all of his heat and get his shields back. So he's back to full strength. Okay, fantastic. Over on my side, the traitor side, uh, this guy had a little bit of heat. So he, uh, with his um, Frozen Soul and Preternatural Regeneration, was able to clear all heat, so he's good. Uh, the other Warlord was basically 
no problems there, so he's at full strength. Now the Reaver Titan, unfortunately he was in the orange, so I rolled on the um, table to see if anything happened. So he uh, actually did end up getting um, a Void Shield collapse. His Void Shields were already collapsed, so then that goes into, um, he took a Strike 9 hit to the body, so he actually has one direct, we rolled that up, he's got one direct hit to the body. Um, then I rolled for Preternatural Regeneration and uh, Frozen Soul. Got two heat back and one got his void shields returned so he's just on a um his last pip on shields so he's still a little bit um dodgy but uh he does have the blind barrage on him so hopefully he's a little bit harder to hit so um that reaver is kind of taking point let's see if he can survive another turn um that is damage control we're going to move into the combat phase all right combat phase tim your first player what's first all right we're gonna do warlord Okay. Into the into that reaver. Right okay, there. it's a little bit of an interesting situation here with blind barrage. So you're gonna are you starting with your apox? Yep, starting with apox hitting on fives. You're hitting on fives because threes and minus two for blind barrage. You're not within thirty. Yep. Or under or b above thirty. Looks like I hit you twice. Two hits. Okay, and I think my voids are on. I want to say fours. Yeah. All right. I am not gonna push my reactor because I am hot. So fours. Ah. Uh, Shields down. All right, what's next? All right, so Mori Quick Cannon at the Reaver. Mm -hmm. It's a minus one accuracy because it's in a short range. So we're looking for a six. Fishing for a six. Ah. Uh, All right. Scatter. So we're you could still get lucky. We're going to scatter, and it's going to mm. scatter seven inches. That's, Feels like maybe no, but yeah, let's that's, check. That's not going to be lucky. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit unlucky. All right, so Quake misses. How about that volcano cannon? I think we're doing two dice on, or uh, you need five on that, right? Five on volcano. Cannon. And you push them in the heat. Yep. Uh -oh. Ooh, machine spirit and a miss, but you still get to roll scatter. So machine spirit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's exciting or not, but a 10. <laughs> he passes. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Now let's see if you scatter that um, scatter thing. Yeah, here we go. Five, five inches. Where's the arrow on that puppy? That way. Yeah, to the directly away from the camera. So five inches that away. Eh, you might clip. Yeah. No. I don't think so. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So you blow the heck out of that mountain, but not a whole lot else. All right. So that was that that reaver or that um, warlord. All right. Over to me. All right, first activation for me, I'm going to activate this Reaver. He's going to target uh, that Warlord. He is 10 and a half inches away, so I'm in range of everything, but I don't get the plus one for my Gatling Blaster at eight inches. So we're gonna start with the um, the Vulcan Mega Bolter. So normally he's three. He is blind barrage, so he's hitting on five. Sixes are special. Um, a couple hits there, so two hits. So you need to give me two rolls of war... Oh, are you still recording? Yep. Okay. Uh, you need to give me two rolls there for uh, shields. And that looks like two saves. All right. Gatling Blaster is, you know, pure line of sight. There's no blocking terrain there. So, again, line barraged on me. So I need, um, I need fives to hit you. Six dice. One, two, three. Looks like three hits there for you. Let's see if we can do uh, another round of shield damage here. Alrighty, three saves. Uh, uh, you missed one. Looks like one gets through. All right, last shot from um, the Reaver. I would say since the building is in front of him, he's got at least twenty-five percent, or he's got twenty-five percent cover. So he's going to hit on a six with that Melta cannon, and that's a miss. All right, it misses. So we're going to roll some scatter. So seven inches that away. Pretty confident that that's going to go way the heck out into dodge but we'll measure and make sure all right tim over to you what's next all right this guy's gonna activate he's mm -hmm. gonna fire these guys into the warlord there uh, your twin yes so your gatlings yep, hitting on threes three. i want to say okay so a couple misses there's a miss Looks like eight hits. Eight hits, okay. So he is fully shielded, so I need threes on my void shields for this guy. 
So there is a fail, there is a fail. So that's two failed Void Shields. So I think that puts him still at threes. Yeah, still at threes, okay. All right, we'll shoot a Sun Fury at you. Sun Fury number one. Taste the rainbow, here we go. Need threes, uh, uh, three hits. Three hits. Okay, and so I owe you three Void Shield saves, still at threes. Uh, one goes down. And so that puts me on fours now, I want to say. Yep. Okay. I'm at fours. I've got one, two shields left. All right. Last set of uh, plasmas. plasmas. Looks like one hit. Yeah. Right? He's going to use his warlord trade. Ooh. Reroll one of those. Okay. Two. You hit. Um, you know what? I was foolish. I should have um, power to the voids. So I'm going to do that right now. Power to the voids. Oh, of course, for two heat. So that's two heat right there. And so how many is that? Two? Just two, yeah. Okay. Uh, two heat uh, and two dice. Rerolling ones, thank goodness. Okay, so I only take one void shield hit, um, and that puts me on my last shield. Okay, so he turned that direction, and the closest target is his own warlord. So... Um, we need to roll some dice, so the carapace weapons will still hit, so wildfire. How many dice are we talking there? Twelve. Twelve, oh my goodness. Okay, so three, six, nine. I need one, two more dice, please. All right, so, and I'm hitting on fives, I want to say, right? Yep. All right. Do I hit on fives? Yes, you uh, do. A few, not a crazy amount, but a few. Five two, hits. Five hits, all right. So five hits, and then we need to roll a... Location, right? Yep. Oh, it's void shields, right? Yep. Yeah, void shield saves. And he will fail oh my all of them. goodness, that's four voids down. All right. Oh boy. Okay. So, does he still have voids? Yeah, he still got one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So then we need to do some plasmas, right? Yep. All right, and those are still on fives. Yep. Okay. Hitting on fives. First plasma. And you cannot declare maximal fire on any of this or anything like that, right? Absolutely. It's just I think it's just straight weapon hits. So that's four hits. All right. All right. No, 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 it's just one. Oh, he, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. You're so right. You're so right. I'm sorry. And he makes you it. makes it. Okay. And then one more plasma gun or Sun Fury plasma, excuse me. Uh, hitting on fives. One hit. Okay. Can he save it? No. Oh. Does he have or his voids down? Yeah, he collapsed his voids. Oh no! Okay, now wildfire. Now does he explode? No, now he falls. Falls. You need scatter die. Scatter die. Where did that go? There it is. Yeah, he falls. Scale inches. It's gonna be that way. Kind of so. towards this, towards the um, towards the crane. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it's not gonna hit. Yeah, you're just gonna but... kablooey fall down. Engine kill. All right, over to my turn. I'm going to activate my twin warlord. So he's going to fire his paired Gatling blasters at uh, the warlord facing him down. So it's uh, 12 shots with uh, hitting on three. Um, that is not a correct dice. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits for you, Tim. You want to save on fours for me? All righty. Uh, nope. Okay, he you is... lost. Yeah, you lost all your shields there. Yep. All right. So your shields are now down. Plasmas. So again, plasmas hitting on fours at this range. Or excuse me, threes. Four dice hitting on threes. Maximal fire. He's a little warm. Do I care? I think I don't care. Maximal fire. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Plus two strength and at one heat if I roll a one. All right. Maximal fire for the left plasma. Uh, four hits. So now I need to roll damage. So I'm going to pick a weapon dice. So that is strength 10 now because of maximal fire. Yep. So 10 plus D6 against the, ooh, against the ooh. body. So a couple of sixes. So, so thir 12, a 12, a 13, and two 16s. We'll come back with what that means. Okay, so that put you at 
Um, almost at the end of your track, you've got one pip left on your track, I want to say, and you've got two criticals on your body. Yep. So his body is a little bit worse for wear. Okay, so second uh, plasma, again, hitting on threes, maximal fire, so ones give me heat. Okay, so I get one heat and a miss, a regular miss, and then two hits. So let me, cut, let me give myself some heat here. So one heat, and then two hits. Um, where do we hit? Uh, two more hits to the body. So that's going to be a 14 and a 15 to the body. So we're going to figure out what that means. Okay, so that takes that Warlord off the track. That's catastrophic damage on the... Um, the Gatling Plasma Warlord. So that is an engine kill. Engine kill. D10. 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 Let's see what happens. A seven. Any modifiers to that? You're not orange or anything. Nope. No. Wildfire. Oh boy. Here we go. He will turn to face in a random direction. Okay. Turn my scatter dice and then shoots with every weapon that is not disabled. Nice. So oh, he's going to kind of point that away. Boop. And he's going to, is it closest enemy or closest, what is it? Uh, nearest unit. Nearest unit. Okay, we're going to measure that. It might be your own dude. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, what a what a cruddy turn of events there, but we're so, moving on. Uh, last, uh, last Titan yep. to activate. Um, he's going to fire his Apocalypse Missile Launchers in Barrage mode at the Warlord back there, trying to strip okay. off the last of his shields. Yeah, he does have a few shields gone, so this could be eventful. You need threes? Uh, fives. Fives, Five. that's right. Oh, hey, not bad. He got six hits. That's not bad at all. And I want to say my shields are at fours. Yeah. Um, can I get a reactor die? I am going to uh, push my voids. Yeah, what are my void or what is my reactor at right now? No. Like, you're all if I orange. roll a two, I'm at orange, right? Yeah. <sighs> if you roll a one, you're at orange. Yeah. I yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take them. Force. Okay. Um I think that means shields are down. Yep. I yeah, I only had one void shield, but okay, so my shields are down. Alright. I don't, so that was a um, barrage fire, so I don't, that means you can't really shoot anything else, I think, right? Okay, that is the combat phase. We're going to, oh, you're right. I forgot my last Titan. All right, one more Titan to go. <laughs> Got this juicy little target. Oh my gosh. All right, last Titan will come right back. All right, back. my last Titan, um, my Bellicosa, my, sen my Princep Senioris, um, that Warlord, is his shields are down, so um, I kind of have to take that shot. So my Apox do nothing, the shields are down, I cannot wound his weapon, so I'm just going to start shooting guns. So I'm going to do the Quake Cannon. So he is, um, he's not under 30, so it's not a minus one penalty, so I just hit him on threes. So that's a miss. We're going to scatter. Um, I'm going to roll that right over here. Uh, one oh, inch. that'll hit. So that's... I think that's still a hit. Yeah, that's... Right? Yeah. Let's call that a hit. So that's two hits against the... Location dice, and it's strength. I want to say nine. Yeah, strength nine. Okay, probably not a whole heck of a lot. So nine, ten, one does nothing. Yeah. Nine, twelve against a leg. We'll have to figure out if that's anything or not. Okay, real quick. Um, the quake cannon did not do any damage with a um, eleven and a twelve, or a nothing and a twelve. Uh, so, but it did um, quake and concuss him. So he turned forty-five degrees towards the right, and he is now concussed. So now at this point, um, I'm gonna fire the Bellicosa. So again, I need threes, and that is a draining weapon, so we're gonna see if it does any uh, reactor stuff. So that's, oh my god. So that's a three and two heat. So, but thankfully he's a pretty cold Titan right now. So he is, um, hits on a three, so that's two hits to the, let's find out. Strength 10. Wait, strength 12, excuse me, right? Yep. Strength 12, here we go. To the head, which is not great. So a 15 and a 17 to the head. We'll come back and figure out what that means. All right, Tim, that thing took two hits to the head. Talk to me about it. 
All right, so it's got a pretty good amount of damage on the head. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got two pips left. It took a critical hit, which means it's got MIU feedback, so it's minus two to give orders. Gotcha. Um, and then it's got no shields. Yeah, shields are down. A little bit of heat. Not what? Much, yeah. One pip of heat. You're pretty. You've got one pip left on the head track, and then one. You're on the second pip on the critical track, right? Yep. Or first pip on the critical track. Yeah, first pip. First pip. Okay, got it. All right. So that is everybody. That is all of the Titans firing uh, for turn two. All right, end phase for turn two. There's really nothing to look at. There's no critical damage that warrants uh, any end phase effects. So we're gonna move directly into the top of turn three. We're gonna roll off to see who goes first player. All right, we're now at the top of turn three. I'm actually going to play my Warlord trait dominant strategist, which means I am going to be first player for turn three. So, All right, we just finished our strats and orders phase. So as first player, I. Uh, did a first fire order on this warlord. It passed. I had no other orders that I applied. So Tim, what orders did you have? I passed a first order or a first fire order on this warlord mm -hmm. and this guy attempted to do emergency repairs but failed because of the MIU feedback on his head. Right, you rolled a four, you needed a five. Over here, then moving over to strats, I placed that uh, tracer cloud right there. Uh, hopefully to do some reroll goodness on that warlord. Tim pointed out that maybe I should have put it on that warlord. Um, maybe that was a mistake. We'll see. Um, I think that's very good feedback for me to learn from. Um, but we'll see what happens if we can get some good shots there. Okay, so that is all the strats and orders. All right, as part of the movement phase, I moved my reaver up. Just a regular move, straight forward. And then over to Tim, you've got first fire on that warlord. What are we doing? Yep, so this Warlord, because this Reaver has no shields, we're gonna fire the Volcano Cannon at him. Fire the Volcano Cannon! All right, here we go, you need threes? I need threes, and that is a three. You've got a three and a heat, so you definitely hit. So that's two hits against the... All right. Uh, against the... Weapon! Weapon, okay. oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six? So oh, you hit my Gatling, and yep. so you did what kind of damage to that? Uh, I did 14 and 17 points of damage to 14 it. 14 and 17, so that's going to be, you need a 10 plus to damage it, so it is just damaged, right? Yep. All right, so that gun is damaged. All right, still oh. in the movement phase, so this Reaver just got his uh, Gatling cannon blasted off. Uh, Tim, you turned that guy and you moved him up a little bit. He's concussed, so a little bit slower, but you pushed reactor for free and got him to move and move up a little, turn and move up a little bit. So now I'm going to move over to um, my warlord. Uh, he's got line of sight on um, Tim's warlord over there that's really damaged. So I'm going to take a volcano cannon and um, I'm going to have him shoot him. Is that side arc or no? Probably is. Probably. I think it is. I think that's fair. All right, so we're going to hit you on a three. Um, hits for one heat. So that's two hits in the... Two hits in the... Oh, in the oh head for nothing. Does absolutely nothing. So I did hit you in the head, but for not. All right, real quick for um, damage control phase. This warlord... Um, with Frozen Soul and the Chitinous Carapace. He uh, fixed all of his plasma, and I believe he fixed one Void Shield? I can't remember. No, actually, he just vented some plasma, so he's now fully voided, fully cool plasma. This Warlord over here fixed some plasma and did not increase his... increased his shields by one and vented two plasma, so now he's on the second pip for heat, and he's on the last pip... Second to last pit for his shields. And then the Reaver, he was able to fix his Gatling Blaster and vent a little bit of heat as well. So he's still a little bit um, damaged, but um, a little bit better. Tim, what do we got over here? Uh, over here, this guy vented some plasma. Mm -hmm. And then the Gatling guy managed to fix his MIU feedback and vent uh, plasma. He did not get any shields back. Okay, gotcha. So still shields down. That Warlord over there has got shields though, right? Yep. Okay, fantastic. All right, that is the damage control phase. We're gonna move over to combat. All right, first up, 
for the traitors, I am going to uh, activate the Reaver Titan. His target is going to be that Warlord. First off, he's going to shoot his Vulcan Mega Bolter. He's about 10 inches away, so I don't get... Um, it's not within short range. Uh, so that is six dice um, and rending. So six. Uh, that's a little bit cocked. So I need four, I need threes on this, I want to say. Yeah, I need threes. So that's two hits. One, two, three hits. That's a nothing. You get to re-roll that, that. That's, where do I get to re-roll that? Oh, right, thank you. Um, that's my tracer cloud, so I get to re-roll that. Still misses. Okay. <laughs> um, so actually that does kind of count as a hit, so I have enough dice here. Yep. So that is six hits uh, for you to roll against your shields. All right, well, let's... Uh... Go void shields to full here. For... Void to full for machine spirit. <laughs> Smells like machine spirit even. Oh my goodness, <laughs> sorry. Shameless plug. Uh, uh, for five. So he passes. You're fine, yep. Okay. All right. So now six shield hits. On threes, I want to say, right? Yep. Uh, Reroll like on one. Yep. Which Ooh. still misses. So. so you lose three voids there. I lose three voids. All right, next weapon, we've got that repaired Gatling Blaster. Uh, another six dice, he's not in short range, so I just hit on threes. Uh, everything hits except that one. Tracer Cloud, everything hits. So six hits. Um, I believe your shields are four now? Yes, they are. All right, I, you want to do that power to the voids? Yeah, he's going to do void shields to full here for nothing. For free? Free is the right price. And it mm. will not matter. <laughs> no, I think so. Yeah, you lose one, two, three, three. four shields. I yep. gotta reroll this one for, and for it still fails. Friends. Yep, so you lose four shields. Yep, so he's out of shields. All right, shields are down. Okay, last shot. This Reaver's got the um, Melta Cannon. He's not within short range or anything like that, but it's still one dice hitting you on threes, but rerolling because of the Tracer Cloud. Hits, so that is two wounds. Or two hits, I guess I should say. So that is uh, D10s, excuse me, right? Because I'm in, um, yep. it's a fusion weapon. So D10, D10. All right, so strength 11 hits you in the, in the weapon, yay. Um, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a strength 20 hit. <laughs> and, oh, oh no. I, I, was, I was trying to live the dream here, and the, the dream turned out to be a nightmare. Um, so, okay, so that is, I think that's a weapon destroyed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yep. All right, so let's just roll that real quick. Uh, your so these guys your are... Apox. Yay, exactly the weapons I wanted destroyed. All right, so that was the Reaver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to activate this guy and shoot a Quake Cannon at him. Oh, heck yeah, you are. Uh, so this is short, so we're minus one accuracy, so, so we're looking for fours. Fours, what do we got? Four. Nailed him. Woo. Okay, so that's two hits. So strength nine and need a location. And let's see what kind of damage we do here. Ooh. Uh, oh. To the special for uh one. So the one does nothing, right? Yep. And, and the, the two, two is an 11. 11 to the uh, body. Specialist bo okay, body. specialist body. That's right. So an 11. Which is nothing. It, oh. well, no, no, no. Oh, sorry, On the you're... reaver, it's a direct hit. So that puts me one up the track. So that's two pips of damage on the Reaver's body at this point. All right. It's well, but hey, you know, every little bit helps. All right. Then he and will... you are not at plus anything. The next body hit will give you plus one. So then he's going to shoot the uh, Volcano Cannon Oh, engine. brace for impact. It will miss and oh. power of the Machine Spirit. Okay, let's do that power of the Machine Spirit first. Uh, he will pass. I think you're fine. Okay, so, but you still get to roll scatter for that, um, yep. shring shring. Yep, there you go. And it was a oh, you know what? You're still gonna right. hit. Here. So, probably one hit. Is that one hit? It looks like one hit. No, it's two. I can see it right over the whole, I can see it over the base. That's two hits. All right. Yep. So generous. <laughs> no, it was clear. <laughs> Folks, comment below. It was clearly over the base. All right. So uh, two hits to the Ooh. weapon. Oh my god! 
<laughs> that war, like, these guys like don't like weapons. All right, so uh, you hit me one, two, right. three, four, five, six. Right, uh, the melta cannon, the the, the thing that you really wanted to kill, so that's good. All right, so the melta cannon is toast. All right, okay, Tim. As part of Legio Metallica, you get to do some shenanigans with going again. Tell us about it. Yes. Yeah, so for for two power. Um, or two plasma reactor, I can activate another Titan after one of my Titans has been activated. It can happen in any phase, but obviously the more advant advantageous phase is the combat phase. Right. And in this case, it's mostly so this guy gets to shoot before he dies. Right. So he's going to... Or unless I shoot you with a volcano cannon again into the head and roll once. Yeah. Not that that's happened, but... <laughs> so he's going to target your Reaver's... Uh, um... Weapon? Uh, weapons. Yep. So okay, so you need fives, yes? Looking for fives. With your APOC missile launchers, right? Correct. Okay, gotcha. So I'll hit them four times. Four times, four hits, no void shields. So um, you need, what do you need to damage that? I need sixes. Sixes, okay. I got one. You got one! Fantastic. So, uh, which, I'm sorry, which one did you say you were firing at? Uh, the Gat we'll take the Gatling Blaster. The Gatling Blaster. So it is knocked out as well. So, um, it's just, it's been disarmed. It didn't take away its weapons. You took away its arms. Yep. Sorry. Um, okay, so you, so you shot your Apox, now you get some other guns. Yeah, so we'll shoot, uh, the Macro Gatling Blaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, regular shots here, so... Threes? Looking for threes. Got four hits. Okay. No shields. And let's see where they go. You go to the legs. To the leg. All right, what do you got there? So that is a ten. A ten is nothing. And eleven. An eleven is a direct hit. An eleven. Another direct hit. And a twelve. A twelve is a direct hit. All right. All right, so you are now further damage hits, or further damage on the legs are at plus one, but you're three pips of damage on the legs for that Reaver. Okay. Next Gatling? Yeah, so I think he will... He'll just shoot. Okay. And you know what? He's going to use two reactor to uh, uh, use my... I'll get it. Go ahead. Uh, my... Uh, manipul trait, which allows me to add two strength to this, so... Okay, sounds good. So we're hitting on threes. A palpable hit. Nice. Missed one. Okay. So now these are strength eight, I want to say? Uh, they're strength, strength nine. Ooh, okay, Gatlings. Okay. So this is going to go to the head. Oof. So that's interesting. Yeah, nice. All right, so the head on the Reaver. So let's talk about what you did there. Um... A 12 is a direct hit. And then, so then it's a um, 14. A 14 is a devastating hit, so that's plus 2. And a 14. It's another plus 2, so that puts me at the last red dot on the track. And a 14. Um, does that put me at a, that puts me at a critical hit now, yep. right? Okay, so now I've got one critical. And then another 14. So that counts as two, which puts me up one on the critical track, right? Yep. Okay. Is that correct? Yep. Got That's it. right. Okay. So his, wow, he really rung his bell. So that means he is at MIU feedback, which means he's minus two at orders. All right. Over to my turn. All of uh, Tim's Titans have gone, so it's basically up to me now. So I'm going to activate this Warlord with the paired Gatling Blasters and the Sun Fury uh, Plasmas. I'm going to take my Gatling Blasters and I'm going to shoot this um, um, Warlord over here that's got the, uh, tar uh, the Tracer Cloud on it. So I need threes to hit him, um, but I'm also going to target weapons because these are only strength five. I can really only damage weapons, so I need fives to hit you, right? All right, 12 days, fives to hit. Uh, let's see, not amazing, but not terrible. Yeah, three hits. Oh, you get a reroll. Say again? You get a reroll. For what reason? Oh, the Tracer Cloud! Um, is it Tracer, is it only once or misses? Misses. Misses, wow, okay. 
Thank goodness. I thought it was only once. Like, why do I, I keep forgetting my own stratagem? Um, okay, fives again. Uh, oh, that was a five. I promise. I'm not trying to cheat. Um, so that was a five, a five, a five, and a six. Actually, well, wow, that's a thank you for the reminder there. So that actually was significantly important. All right, so I hit a weapon. So I think I need, what do I need to wound that weapon? Uh, six. Sorry, and I, I probably should have declared it. Um, I'm looking at the bellicosa. Yep. Um, so I need a six to wound the bellicosa. Uh, it's down. There it is. All right. All right. Next up, the um, right hand or the left hand, excuse me, the left hand um, sun fury plasma, uh, four dice hitting on fours. Um, two hits. Reroll with the tracer cloud. So three hits. So those three hits. Four hits. Say again. Four. Four hits. What do you mean? Three plus. Oh, sure. Okay. Thank you. So four hits. I hit you in the weapon, weapon of course. Um, so that is a strength eight. I should have gone um, to the, thank goodness, because I should have gone maximal fire. So strength eight, so that's a, I'm pretty sure that that's going to blow up your um, quick cannon, right? Well, go ahead and roll for it. Can I have to roll? Yep. Like, like one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six? Yep. One, two, three. Okay, so based on my roll, uh, hitting a weapon that has already been disabled, that that creates detonations on the body. So it's 8, 10, uh, 12 for that one, and a 14 for that one. So that uh, two, that creates two strength 7 hits on the body, correct? Yep. Okay, so two strength 7 hits on the body. I doubt that does anything. That's So that's a 9. I think that's nothing, right? Yeah, that's not going to be anything. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that's enough to do anything to a warlord. Okay, so that was the left hand plasma. Let's do the right hand plasma. So I need three to hit, rerolling because of Tracer Cloud. Maximal Fire. Thank you, Maximal Fire. I meant to say that, but I didn't. I need to get in good habit, so reroll that. Um, everything hits. Okay, Maximal Fire means I am plus two damage, right? Yep. And so that is strength 10. Where do I hit you? Hopefully not on a weapon. Well, hopefully not on a weapon. That would be great. I hit you in the head. Okay, so 10. Um, one does nothing. 10. 12. Does, I doubt 12 does anything to a warlord's head. Nope. 10. How about a 14? Uh, that'll be a direct hit. Okay, and a 15? Is devastating. Okay, so three pips on the head. All right. So that is that warlord. All right, over to this warlord, my last warlord, my uh, princeps senioris. Uh, he is going to target that warlord in the flank there. So we're going to start with the arm weapon. So I'm going to start with my quake cannon. So hitting you on a three. Hits. And that's going to be two hits to the... The body. So that's strength nine. Is that a flank shot? Yeah. I think it is, so that's plus one, right? Yep. So that's nine, 10, 12 to the body, and a 16 to the body. The Warlord was hit. We did uh, one uh, one hit and one critical hit, so now we gotta see if he's concussed and quaked. So which direction does he turn? Uh, he goes one inch straight back. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, next up is the Volcano Cannon. Again, same target, hitting you on a three. Hits. Where does it hit you? Uh, hits you in the weapon. Um, so that is a strength 12, 13 for flank, 14, and then uh, an 18. So I think that's a weapon destroyed. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that is going to be your right hand Gatling cannon. All right. Okay, the battlefield, end of turn three. We've got a um, a lot of weapons destroyed on these Titans. So you've got a, a Gatling cannon off that guy. This guy only has his Bellicosa left. This guy only has his uh, Carapace Mega Bolter. Um, and then some other damage here. So that's the end of the combat phase for turn two, three, excuse me. 
we're going to move to end phase. Tim's got some things he needs to take care of. My Reaver um, has uh, hits to the head. He has a critical to the head. So there's MIU feedback, which is minus two to commands. And then Moderati wounded, which is minus one on my combat rolls. Um, but we've got some damage on some of the Titans for Tim that we're going to go over here in just a sec. So I got uh, on the Gatling uh, Warlord, mm -hmm. he has got a reactor leak, so he lost a power in the end phase, which puts him one pip away from being red. So he's not happy right now. Yeah, he's pretty rough. Okay, so really quick recap. What are your Titans looking like in terms of voids and um, voids? Plasma and critical, critical damage. Uh, so I got the uh, Mori Quake Cannon left on the, the Quake Cannon Volcano Cannon Warlord. Mm -hmm. He's got some head damage, no void shields, and his plasma reactor is yellow. He's okay. The uh, Macro Gatling Blaster. He's got his one Macro Gatling Blaster and the Apocalypse Launcher is left. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a crit on his body some damage on his head and body. He is in orange in his uh, plasma reactor and he is out of void yields. Gotcha, okay. And for me, um, the my Princeps Senioris is uh, no heat, no voids are at full, no damage. The Reaver Titan is in a bad way. He's got one plasma heat, his voids are down. His head is at the end of the track with two criticals. Um, the body has uh, two points of damage to the track. The legs have three points of damage, and the volcano cannon and the Gatling blaster are down. For my other war, my plasma warlord Titan, uh, no plasma heat. He is on uh, the third pip for shields, so he's at four ups. No damage to the body. So, um, gonna push forward with turn four. See if we can get some repairs early on, and see if we can kind of keep these guys in the game. Coming back, turn four. All right, top of turn four. We're going to roll for first player. Here we go. Tim gets a four. A four, you know. I get a one. So <laughs> what do you want to do? All right, well, I'll take uh, first turn here. All right, first turn over to Tim. We're going to go to strats and orders, turn four. All right, strats and orders. Uh, Tim, you are first player. Let's talk about what you did. Uh, this guy passed an emergency repairs, managed to fix his bellicosa volcano cannon, and got one shield up. Nice. Okay, so shields, no apox, but got your volcano and shields, and uh, no other orders or strats played? Nope. Okay, for me, um, I attempted to do a um, first fire on this warlord. Once again, Legio Vulturum uh, showing its quality and rolling a one for that, so no other uh, orders being able to issued on my side so I have no strats that I want to play at this time. So that is strats and orders. We're going to go into the movement phase. All right, turn four movement phase. Tim, we're halfway through it. You did a little bit of movement with that warlord, right? Yep. Just moved him up. He is quaked, so he's moving a little bit slow. So then I went over to my turn. I uh, just moved that reaver up uh, six inches and now you've got a stratagem you want to play. Yep, I'm going to play thermal mines. Thermal mines! Oh no! My legs! So D3 strength hits, uh, so just one. One strength, uh, so something to the legs. Strength 10 hit to the legs. Oh boy. 10, 12, 12 to the legs is a direct hit, So, but it's 13 now because it's plus one. So that's a devastating hit. That puts me very nearly to the end of my track. I've got the one red bubble left on my legs for that reaver. Um, yeah, that was well played. If you hit him a little more time in the legs, he's going to be hurting for certain. Okay, he moved up. So back over to you, Tim. Any other movement you want to do? Uh, nope, that's the end of my movement. Okay, great. All right. All right, for the remainder of the movement phase for turn four, um, I moved this Warlord up and turned a little bit to face his opponents uh, to the right, just a tiny bit. So he moved up, and then this Warlord moved up four inches. Didn't push, no power to locomotors or power to stabilizers. He just moved up four. Start closing a little bit and uh, that's it for movement so now we move no no other movement right we're good we're going to move over to damage control turn four damage control phase tim as first player tell me what you did uh so i fixed weapons uh you really did so the uh the warlord uh mm -hmm. thanks to the repair roll and the emergency repairs he did he's back to all of his weapons 
Okay. Um, he's, his plasma is completely happy, and he has one shield, enough to be annoying. Yes. So, uh, full guns, one shield, plasma, super cool. Okay, yeah. this guy? Uh, Gatling Warlord, he got his Gatling gun back that he's missing, He and he brought up a shield. Yeah, you still got the critical damage, you still have yep. a very hot reactor, but you've got your shields and all your guns now, right? Yep. Okay, so for me, this guy was completely healthy, no need to do anything there. This guy... Um, I brought up, uh, from Frozen Soul, I brought his plasma reactor back down to cool, and, uh, I repaired one void shield, as I recall, and for the Reaver, um, I, with Frozen Soul, I brought back his plasma back down to completely cool, and with my regular repair dice with Critter Natural Regeneration, I fixed a Melta Cannon, and, um, and raised his void shield. So he's got one void shield. He's got his melted cannon. Still doesn't have the Gatling cannon. Um, so he's still a little bit gimped, but he's still in it to win it. That is it for the damage control phase. We're going to go into the combat phase. Combat phase, turn four. Tim, you are first player. All right. So Gatling Warlord's going to activate. Mm -hmm. He's going to shoot his apocalyptic launchers at that guy. Heck yeah, you are. See if we can strip off that last shield. All right, here we go. Threes. Was not a lot of threes there. No, there's a lot of ones and twos. There are three threes there. Three threes, and so I have got a void shield. I am also very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do power to voids for free. So Ian, you said three, right? Yep. Three dice. Um, thank goodness I did power to the voids. Is it reroll ones or misses? Ones. Ones, okay. So it's down anyways. It doesn't matter because I only have one shield. Okay, Reaver shields are down. All right. So now he is going to target your head with his Gatling Blaster. Okay, Gatling Blaster. Threes. Looking for fives. We oh, got... fives. That's right. You're targeting. Yep. So we got two. Two, okay. So strength... Seven. Seven? No. Yeah, seven. Seven, okay. Now, are you flank? Uh, yes. I think you're flank, so we're going to call that strength eight, right? <clears throat> so that is two thirteens. And you said, where were you shooting? Head? Head. So a 13 is a direct hit. Okay, so you do you did two hits. We're off the track, and we're on the criticals. So I've only got one more critical spot on the head of that reaver. So it's... One, and then two is completely off the track of critical. So that is an engine kill. Engine kill. All right, so now we got to roll some dice, see what happens. All right, you want to roll this? Yeah, what do I roll? D10. That's right, D10. D10? Uh, two. Uh, laid low. Mm. So it moves D6 in a random direction. D6 in a rando direction. Uh, it kind of moves... Like this. How many? Five inches? Yeah. So, so boink. Kablooey, right? And then I think it falls down. Okay. And there's nothing really yeah. to hurt over there. So he just kind of so falls then, down. He doesn't blow up or anything, right? So then the, the scatter die again. Scatter die again to the direction he falls. Yep, so he just will fall backwards. Okay, so he kind of crashes into that, and then he falls backwards, and he just kind of, he's dead, right? Yep. All right, engine kill. Good job. All right, so he doesn't have split fire, so that means his other Gatling cannon kind of just goes to waste, right? Yep. Okay, you're doing something special with your Metallica rule again, right? Yep. Okay. So we're swapping, and we're going to activate that guy mm -hmm. for two power. He's going to shoot his newly acquired... <laughs> Newly acquired APOC launchers. APOC launchers. Get back online. And shoot at this uh, Warhound right here. Or Warlord. Warlord. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you need hit on threes. All right. Uh, A few misses in there. Three misses. Six hits. Four misses. Yep. Six hits. Yep. Okay. He is void shielded. Yes, he is. So I am still on threes. So uh, this many hits. I need... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Haha. <laughs> I almost forgot. Power to the voids for one heat. And then I get to roll these dice, re-rolling ones. Thank goodness. Oh. oh, okay, so I think that means I lose one void, right? Yep. All right, one void down. 
I am now officially saving on fours. All right, so uh, fired these guys. Still got a couple shields, so we're going to do yep. the, uh, the Mori Quake Cannons. You Quake can Cannon into the same Warlord, of course. See if you hit. Within 20 inches, so we're looking for fours. You hit. So that's a hit, so that'll yep. be two Void Shield saves. Two Void Shield saves. Um, what's his heat looking like? Looking good. I'm going to Power of the Voids. Ooh, Machine Spirit. Okay, so Power of the Machine Spirit. I did do Power to the Voids, which technically is successful, but now I've got to roll a command check to see if I wig out. So he is a Corrupted Titan with a base and an additional mutation, so he's minus or plus two on the command check, so he needs a five. Um, <laughs> he cares not. He cares not. So, okay, so Power to the Voids. How many hits was that? Two? two. All right, two hits. So I am I am on fours now. Rerolling ones. Ah, uh, thank goodness for Power of the Voids. Okay, well, I still take one. All right, so one more Void down. That's my last... I'm on my last Void for that Warlord Titan. All right, so you got one more gun, my friend. Yep. All right, let's oh, do it. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. Uh, it'll Ooh. hit for two. Toasty two. That's not great. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, you know. All right, so, but you do hit. So, two. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, so, I am going to do power to the voids again, if I can find my die. That's, oh, sorry, that's right. Machine spirit. Okay, so power to the voids for one more heat. And then two hits, right? Yep. So I need fours, re-rolling ones. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, evidently my voids are now down and I took a heat. All right, over to me. Um, all of Tim's warlords have shot, so I'm going to go to my Princeps Senioris. I am going to activate him. I'm going to fire at the warlord that just took out my reaver. So I'm going to start with the Apox on top. I'm over 30 inches, so I'm rolling 10 dice. APOC launchers hitting on two. Um, there's a one. Yep, so nine dice, and I believe you have one shield, so you need yep. fours or higher in all of them. Uh, it was you a valiant, should, valiant you effort. You should have pushed. <laughs> you should have pushed your shields. That would have been amazing. <laughs> and he is nice and toasty, because that would have been amazing. Okay, so no more shields, yeah? No more shields. All right. Um, let's introduce him to my friend, the Quake Cannon. All right, so he is not within any range that has any modifiers, so Quake, I need a three to hit you. Hits, so that's two hits in the... Head. In the head, okay, so that's not great. So one does nothing. Um, I believe a 13 is a 13. Uh, direct hit. Okay. Okay, so actually my mistake, that actually, he has been hit in the head before. Sounds like he's plus, what was a direct hit? Uh, plus one. Plus one, yeah. Still a direct hit. Still a direct hit. So he's got two more bumps on his track. So now he is concussed and quaked, so I'm going to roll direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's going to turn to the right, 45 degrees. Boop. Okay, fantastic. All right, now... Um, a volcano cannon. Um, I believe that's still just a three to hit. Yep, so threes. Hits. So that is two hits in the... <laughs> in the weapon. Of course it's in the weapon. Okay, um, so a one does nothing. And then, so that's a 12. That's a 17 to one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, to your um, quake cannon. All right. All right. So quake cannon is done. Okay. Next up, I'm activating my last warlord here, and he is going to uh, fire into this warlord that I just took the shields down from and blew off the vol the um, the quake cannon. So, given that he doesn't have void shields, I'm going to try and attack with his um, his plasmas first. So, right sun fury plasma, needing threes to hit. Um, that's a one. I did not. Maximal fire. I wanted, I want to maximal fire that. So that's fine. Yep. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do, that is a heat, right? Yep. Okay. So that's a heat. Um, those are hits. So that is strength 10 in the. 
Legs. Legs. Interesting. Something that I haven't hit yet. How wonderful. So strength 10, 13, 14, and a 16. All right, All right. so that was Plasma 1 doing three points of damage on the leg track. Uh, a direct, a direct, and devastating. So now I'm going to go over to Plasma number 2. I am maximal firing this weapon, so strength 10, meaning threes to hit. Um, another heat, which is not fantastic because now I'm super hot. Um, but that is three hits in the in the head. Okay, so that is one is nothing. Um, strength ten, a thirteen, and a fourteen. All right, so his head is pretty wounded. Um, really, the uh, Gatling cannons here, the Gatling blasters here, the pair of Gatling blasters, really only have a decent chance of wounding the head. Uh, with targeted shots. So I'm going to try targeted shots here. It's 12 dice, um, hitting on fives, normally on threes, hitting on fives because I'm targeting, so I'm trying to shoot the head. So 12 dice, need fives. Well, I see a lot of fours. There's a couple fives. There's a couple fives. Statistically less than I wanted, um, but you know what? I'll take it. So that's three hits to the head. Um, so now I need sixes on these to do anything of interest. Nothing. All right, we are at the end phase of turn four. There's nothing that we need to take care of on any of the Titans at this time. We don't have any reactor leaks or anything, do we? No, I have a reactor leak. My, oh, you do? This uh, Gatling Warlord is now in the red for his reactor. Oh, okay, so. so you bumped your reactor for that. Yeah. Okay, anything else? No. My, this Warlord is in... The last pip of orange, so we may need to do some emergency repairs. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just take the hits. Um, this guy is cool as a cucumber. No void shields down or anything like that. So um, we're at the end of turn four. So that means we need to roll a d10 to see if the game continues. So on a nine or a ten, it stops. Let's see what happens. Six. Six. We're going to continue the game. All right. We're going to go into turn five. Roll off to see who goes first. Two versus nine. You get to pick. I'll take the first turn. I think you want first turn. All right. We're going to go into turn five, strats and orders, with Tim and the filthy, filthy loyalist being first player. All right, Tim, strats and orders. What'd you do? Uh, so I did emergency repairs on both of them. Okay. Uh, both warlords. And they both succeeded. Uh, they both Thank succeeded. goodness. Yep. Uh, so this guy managed to roll really well. He was in the red mm -hmm. on his plasma reactor. And he got all of that red gone, and he is now in the yellow. Okay. Um, and this warlord, uh, not quite as good, but he got himself out of orange for his plasma, and he uh, got his quick cannon back. Got his quick cannon back. Now, did you you didn't fix any of your criticals, or did you? No, I did not. Did I not. So you, you went for uh, raising voids and or fixing weapons, right? Right. Or venting heat. Sorry, excuse yeah. me. Right, okay. So over on my side, um, I went for uh, um, a first fire on that and succeeded on that Warlord. And on this Warlord, I rolled for emergency repair. Now, per the rules for um, Preternatural Regeneration and um, um, Frozen Soul, it says specifically the damage repair phase. So we, we interpreted that as you don't get those mutation bonuses in a emergency repairs order. So I just forward, rolled the four Servitor Clades. So I rolled really well for him. I fixed his, I brought his void, I rolled six and got his void shields back up. And then I uh, vented two heat uh, on him. So he's now down to the yellow. So I don't need to roll any potential side effects in the, um, in future phases based on him being in the orange like he was. So he is now uh, in the second pip of yellow. Uh, this Titan over here, completely cool. No plasma, no void shield issues whatsoever. Okay, uh, turn five, movement phase. Uh, Tim's Titans did not have any movement based on them doing um, emergency repairs, so they're staying put. Over on my side, he did emergency repairs, so I'm going to elect to have him stay put and, and fire. Over here, he's had the first fire order, so he's going to take his APOC missile launchers, and he's going to fire at Tim's uh, Princeps Senioris. So again, APOC, uh, plus one to hit, so he's hitting uh, shields on twos. Um, that is eight hits. So, Tim, go ahead and give you those dice and see if you can make a bunch of four ups. Nope. Shields are down. 
Okay, so that was the movement phase. The only movement that actually happened was not movement. It was just first fire. So the shields, the void shields are down on that Warlord Titan. So now we're moving into the damage control phase. Turn five, damage control phase. Tim, you rolled like fire. Tell us about it. Uh, so uh, the Gatling Warlord managed to get uh, another shield back, got rid of his crit uh, that he had on himself. and uh, Where was that crit? Uh, on his... Uh, body. Body, okay. And then uh, bumped up his plasma reactor one more. Okay, so you're still yellow, I think? Yep. You're, well, you were out of, you're out of the origin into the yellow. Yep. Got it. Oh, no, he didn't do anything with his plasma reactor. Oh, my bad. Was, um, I think all he did was manage to get rid of that crit. He got rid of the crit. Oh, and, and, and invented some heat. Yep, okay, fair. Uh, and then the other warlord managed to get rid of his crit. Bring his shields back and get himself some heat back. Okay, fantastic. So he's doing pretty well over there. All right, so for me, uh, this Warlord, no damage, nothing needed there. Um, over here with Frozen Soul and Preternatural pre Generation, got nothing for the Frozen Soul, rolled like crap. Um, for the Preternatural Regeneration, I um, vented one heat and rolled pretty well. So I vented one heat, so I'm on the first yellow pip, and then I brought back two shields. So he's now void shielded at three plus. Activating that Warlord combat phase, yep. Uh, missiles are unimpeded, so... Yep. you're shooting this Warlord, right? Yep, shooting the Warlord. Okay, great. Plus missile launchers. Needing trees. Oh Ooh. my lord. I got three. You got three hits? I got three hits. Okay, um... <laughs> boy, you know what? I really kind of want to... I'm going to risk it. No risk it, no biscuit. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna power to the void. Three, three up. And of course, so uh, that means I drop two. I've got one more void shield. All right. Uh, so let's fire the more missing one. The, you mean the, the left, oh, the, uh, the right hand um, Gatling blaster, which is minus two because he's got more than 50% or 50% cover-ish. Yep. So you need fives on that guy, right? Yep. Okay, fives. Five. You um, got a six. I got one. Okay, you got a six. Um, you know what? I got more I got more plasma than I got shield. So I'm going to um, voice full for one heat. And so that means I need a four re-rolling ones. <laughs> of course not. Voids are down. All right. So one more uh, Gatling Blaster, gonna shoot ya. And... This is uh, hitting on fours. Uh, no, no shields. He's not gonna do anything fancy. Okay, let's see where they hit. If they hit. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, let's see if they hit. So two hits. Three. Three hits. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't see that dice behind the crane. Yep, three hits. Okay, now let's see where they hit. All right. uh, where In the head. head. So they're ordnance. Okay. So um, what do we got? So their um, base strength what? Uh, their base strength of seven. Okay, so a seven. So that's a ten a and an eleven. A ten and eleven do nothing. You need a thirteen. A thirteen is one direct hit to the noodle. All right. So one direct hit to the noodle. That's all of his shooting. Yes. Okay. Great. All right, are you going to do your Metallica thing? All right, fantastic. That's so metal. <laughs> Sorry, too much. Sometimes I'm too much. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, let's see. You. Yeah. So, um, Quake Cannon at you. Sure. Hitting on threes. So, hits you. Definitely hit. So, two hits where? See where they go. To the to special. The special. To the body. To the body. So one doesn't do anything. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? 12. Yep. A so, twelve is a direct hit. Okay. All right. And then we need to resolve the quake. Yeah, quake me. Let's one, two. You're gonna go backwards. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards an inch, so I'm just gonna eyeball that if that's okay with you. All right, yeah. so I am now concussed. Yep. Okay, great. And then uh, the uh, Bellicosa. Bellicosa. Let's see what this does. 
No heat, and you hit. So the two hits to the... Magnificent! To the legs! How interesting. So that's a 12, a 15, and a 18 to the leg. A 15 is a devastating hit. And then a an 18, you said? Yep. That's a critical hit. So does that put one here? Yep. Or it, and that moves the track, right? Yeah, it moves it too. Moves it too, and then we put a thing on the track. Yep. Okay, got it. I got that. So to the legs, one critical hit, and then I'm on the fourth. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm on the fourth button on the track, and then I've got one critical hit. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Okay, so we looked at the APOC missiles on that Warlord, uh, shooting my Warlord, um, even if he targeted the legs. Yeah, even if he targeted the legs, um, he could only do an 11, which I, he needs a 13 to do any wounds. So um, shooting the APOX does nothing here. So that is all of your shooting, right? Yep. All right, over to me. Okay, shooting phase, turn five over to me. So I'm going to activate my Princeps Senioris. He is going to activate, and he's going to take his APOC launchers and shoot your Princeps Senioris uh, over 30 inches. So hitting on twos, 10 missiles coming at you. Um, two misses, it looks like. Did I get that right? Yeah, two misses. So eight void shield saves. One shield left. Nope. Ooh, no, didn't. Okay, voids are down. Okay, next up, the Quake Cannon against your Warlord Titan again. I need a three. Hits. Two hits to the... Leg. <laughs> Nothing. Two ones. <laughs> Perfection. Thanks, Quake Cannon. Okay. Next up, Volcano Cannon. Bellicosa Volcano Cannon um, into the Warlord. I need threes again. Hits. Two hits into the... The special, which I believe is the body. Yep. So that's actually a 12, a 17, and an 18. Okay, so that's two criticals on your body. So you're down four points on the track, and you've got two criticals. And um, yeah, painful. Yep. All right, Bellicose is doing what they do. All right, last activation for me. I'm going to activate this Warlord. Um, given that your uh, Princep Senioris... Uh, has shields down. Um, I'm going to go with the plasmas again. I'm going to do maximal fire. So right plasma. I need threes to hit. Uh, two heat and two hits. So that puts me very hot. So two hits. Strength 10 to the body. So that's a 13 and a 14 to the body. Okay, based on damage already taken in the body, that 13 becomes a 14 and that 14 becomes a 15. So you take two devastating hits to the body, which puts you at the end of the track and gives you an additional critical. So you're on the last critical slot on your body. Is that correct? Yep. All right, okay. So this Warlord is super duper hot. Um, I seem to love rolling me some ones on that plasma, um, but you know what? Nobody likes a coward, especially the War Master. So you know what? We're going to maximal fire another plasma. That's a because, good choice. Because you know why? <laughs> Reasons. Maximal fire, two or plasmas, four dice, three ups. Four ones. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> hey, look at that! Look at that! All right, so two hits. <laughs> no heat. Shocking. Where do they go? Nobody knows. So a one does nothing, but a head with a 16 to the head, and you've already got some damage on the head, so let's take a look at that. Yep, that'll be a critical to the head, which will be uh, add two pip criticals to the head, so. Two criticals to the head. Okay, so you're back to MIU feedback and moderati damaged. Yep. Okay, so he is hurting for certain, um, and that is all my shooting. All right, last weapon for this Warlord, the paired Gatling Blasters up on the roof. I am gonna target the body on that Warlord. So at this point, uh, normally I need threes plus two because of targeting. I need fives to hit the Warlord's body. Here we go, 12 dice. Wait, is this 12 dice? I need two more dice, my bad. 12 dice, fives to hit. Um, five? 
Okay. Not terrible. Oh, pretty Actually, good. pretty darn good. Let's make sure I'm not cheating. Yep, that's correct. So that's five hits. Now I believe I need fours because yep. I'm strength. Um, five. Strength five. So I need a fours to hit here because there's already or er, fours to wound in the body. And you got uh, three at least. Okay, so that's five. Those are nine, but there's already how much damage on the body? Is it plus two? Uh, it's a plus three. Plus three. So those are twelve. So twelve. Those are direct hits, and then the six is a uh, critical devastating. Dev so two directs and a devastating on right. the body, and you're already at the end of the track, and you're already three criticals in. Yep. So engine action. kill. Engine kill. Blow up. Okay. What do we do now? We got to roll a d6. Yeah. Uh, d10. Or d10. Excuse me. Um, is he orange or anything? He fun? is. He is orange. So that's a plus. Plus one on the plus chart. One on the chart. Okay. Four. Uh, so, so it's a five. five. Which I believe means he's gonna wildfire. Wildfire. Okay. Okay. So engine kill. We're gonna do wildfire. Let's do it up. All right. So he turns in a random direction, which will be completely away from everybody. Yeah. So we're moving that away. Um, is anybody within arc? Answer is no. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay, so he turns completely around, shoots all of his weapons at nothing. He is going to fall in this direction. Okay, so kind of towards your other warlord, but certainly not close enough to do anything, right? Pretty good. Uh, came pretty close. Ten inches? Yeah. But not, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, you're off. You're off by an inch or two. Okay, so he falls down and um, crashes and thrashes and he's dead. All right, kaboom. Engine kill. All right, that is the end of turn five combat phase. We're going to go into turn five end phase. Okay, end phase stuff. The only thing I had to do was this warlord um, is orange in his reactor, which doesn't matter. But he's also got one critical on the legs, so... On one through three, he turned left. Four through six, he turned to the right. So he, I rolled a one or a three, I think. So he turned 45 degrees to the left. That's all we've got for end phase. Tim, you've got nothing, right? Yep. Okay, so now we need to see if the game continues. D D10, what do we need to roll? Mm, we're going to look yes. that up. <laughs> okay, so Tim rolled an eight for uh, turn five. So on the... Five or more, the game ends. We check the mission. So that is actually the, the, the game is now over. Um, we're going to come back and tally the victory points and all that good stuff. So we got two engine kills on the loyalist side, one engine kill on the traitor. So we're going to come back with um, victory points and uh, maybe some Titan talk at the end. So scoring victory points at the end of the battle, score victory points for every enemy unit that is structurally compromised or completely destroyed. Structurally compromised units grant a number of victory points equal to their scale. Destroyed units grant a scale based on victory points as follows, which is shown in the rule book on page 85. The, um, the uh, soft cover rule book. So basically going through the, uh, the victory points for Tim, you structurally compromised my plasma warlord's legs. So you get um, 10 victory points based on his scale. You also get 10 victory points for destroying my reaver for a total of 20. So I did not structurally compromise, or at least there's no, no, no structural compromising of your remaining standing warlord. So I don't get any victory points there. But I destroyed two warlords. Those are scale 10, so 10, 15 victory points each. So that is a total of 30 victory points there. And then I get an additional five victory points for secondary objectives, minimize losses. Uh, if I have more than half my total scale at the end of the game, I gain an additional five victory points. So. The score goes 35 points to the traitors, 20 points to the loyalists. First off, I will say I thought that was a really fun game. Um, it's been a little while since we played Titanicus, so I'm sure we got maybe a rule or two wrong. But I think from my perspective, had a lot of fun. Um, smaller points game, it's been a little while since we played, so we're trying to kind of get back into it. Um, you know, now that COVID is a little less a little less challenging we're going to be able to get together a little bit more but i had a lot of fun how about you yeah no it was a it was a great game we had yeah. some uh normal titanicus shenanigans which is always fun my yeah. warlord turning around shooting my other warlord yeah um 
stuff like that is always great when it happens. We got a couple of fun engine kills in there. We didn't have any of the big explosions, but I'm sure you know more games to come, and I'm sure we'll see some some of that stuff. Tell me about um, your list, your exterminus list, your 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 three warlords packing three warlords into. Uh, 1500 points how do you how do you feel that went and i'll tell i'll talk about mine as well i feel like um i've never played a myrmidon maniple before i feel like it did pretty well uh, but i'd love to hear let's talk about metallica and then we'll talk a little bit about vulture and the, the lists that we came up with yeah so uh i i chose this maniple and um the warlords just simply because i love warlords and, and yeah they I'm not going to call them necessarily my favorite Titan, but I, mm. I do really love them. Yeah. Um, and They're tough. Yeah. And running three or, or Lords for me is just fun. Yeah. Um, at 1,500 points, uh, you run into some not great weapon options simply mm -hmm. because of how strapped you are for points. Yep. Uh, it I, it uh, can get tight trying to fit three Warlords into 1,500. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you end up making a few sacrifices, whether you really realize it or not. Right. Um, with the mana pull, uh, adding power to uh, weapons. In, in this game, I really didn't do it all that much. Mm. Um, and mostly because I was running into heat issues. Also, with the addition of running um, Metallica, I, I ended up basically just creating myself heat issues from right. swapping double double activating a, a couple of titans yep, yep. and you um, you add heat you, in order to do that metallica has that special rule you can order you can activate another titan but you take two heat yeah you the take new two the, the the new the titan that you're starting to activate as se the second one takes two heat right yeah yeah and and really the this maniple works best with the plasma warlord because it doesn't suffer from the uh it only takes one heat when you increase the strength by two because it only has four shots right and unfortunately my plasma warlord died very early on he did and that was unfortunate it's like so it, yeah i hear you it, it wasn't i wasn't able to take advantage of that really. yeah yeah it, it it kind of puts you on the back foot but i will say i was very impressed like at the end of turn three i think it was or at least end of turn two it started to feel like it was already swinging. Turn three, I was like, okay, this is not going well for you, Tim. And it's like, I was deeply impressed with how you kind of bounced back. And like, you were still in that game all the way up to the bitter end. Now at the end of the turn five, you know, your second Warlord went down, but not without a fight. And the amount of shield regeneration and the amount of heat dissipation you did was, your dice were pretty legendary there. I was pretty impressed with how well, the, I always get impressed with how well the Warlords hang into the fight. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I really like running through Warlords. Yeah, is it's, yeah. it um, it just makes your art your force just so resilient mm -hmm. um, that it it really it really adds a a layer of just determination when the chips are down. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was it, a lot to I grind mean, through. I, I was on the back foot of that from pretty much uh, the beginning of the game when right. I misdeployed and missed. Uh, Misused my plasma warlord, yeah. but uh, it, it it's it doesn't. There's ways that you can swing it, and with war with three warlords, you can absorb it, and occasionally, with some luck, you can uh, bring it back you can actually you. bring it back and yeah. uh, try and swing things your direction. And I wasn't yeah. able to completely do that, but I was able to hang it. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought I thought you did admirably considering. Um, and like like you said, when that first, when the plasma warlord went down, I think that's when the you know things started going um, the other way. Um, for my list, you know, I've never played this maniple before. I played Volturum before several times. Um, it's a little bit different list for me. Like I said, I did a Myrmidon maniple. Never done that before. But I felt like the synergy between um, the Myrmidon special rule of being able to get first fire off. On a two plus, regardless of other modifiers, that really um, works synergizes well with corrupted titans. Um, and even though I literally failed two of my first <laughs> fire rolls, um, it, yeah, it was that was a little bit embarrassing. But you know, hey, them's the breaks. That's the game. It's a game of dice. So I had fun with that, anyways. But I think 
you know, and I, I think, you know, maybe uh, the the warlord with a, for me, the warlord with a bellicosa and a quake and um, apox, maybe a little uninspired, but I think it's effective. I, I like, I've never played a warlord with the double plasma, double gat. Um, wow, that that's a... That's a good little titan. It's my it's my favorite warlord. Yeah, that's it's a probably good build. my favorite overall uh, loadout for basically any titan is the right. gatling with double plasma. Yeah, and I think with the frozen soul and the um, preternatural regeneration, um, wow, that's a potent mix. Now you're paying for that mix. That's right. very expensive, right? So it kind of made it like I don't have three warlords. I have two warlords and a reaver, and there's a reason for that. Um, because I literally couldn't fit all of it in there. Um, but I, I, you, know, you said your Warlord's your favorite Titan. It's like, from an aesthetics or a style perspective, the Reaver is my favorite. But I will say that a Reaver... Reavers die. Yeah. You know, they, they, don't, they don't hang in there like a Warlord. And so I, I like the Warlord purely from their staying power. And, uh, you know, the, lo the very long-range firepower. But, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was a good list. Um, I, like I said, I never played Myrmidon before, so that was fun. I usually play... I've played Perpetua in the past, so I kind of wanted to try something different. Um, tell me about um, the mission. How do you feel like this... You know, it's a pretty straightforward mission. You de you've said maybe you deployed a little bit and that didn't go particularly well. But, like, from the, from the get-go, do you feel like there was... Um, it, it felt like you were clawing back pretty good, so it felt like you... I, I perceived you felt like you were in the game the entire time. Did the mission and the deployment really kind of affect that, or do you feel like you know it was it was kind of um, downhill from from deployment? No, uh, deployment I think actually went fine. I yeah. think it was that first turn where I moved and decided to charge my warlord forward for some reason. Oh, the plasma warlord, um, yeah, to run him up, yeah. The, the that that bit me, but I, like the mission or at least deployment, I think um, overall went went okay yeah um, agreed the uh i do kind of feel like I, I i have a tendency of taking the the warlord with the long-ranged weapons and i tend to put him into a corner mm. and i think i need to get better about putting him more central yeah um, yeah because it, it's tempting to just have those lines of fire and just, yeah you know, just fire arm. down that corridor the entire game and kind of dominate from from that position of strength in the back yeah agree but uh um i think for my part the thing i the thing that i feel like i didn't do a particularly great job of is um i wonder if the reaver the weapon loadout that i had on this reaver was the right choice i kind of i'm starting to wonder like should I have just gone with the Chain Fist Reaver and kind of just like charged him up the middle? But I think he soaked a lot of damage and I think, you know, he, he took a lot of focus from you. So I think he kind of did his job. So I was very happy with that. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I also did something with this Reaver that I don't normally do. Um, with the um, Vulturum, I tend to take the Vulcan Mega Bolter on the Carapace for a Reaver and put the Storm Frag shells on it. But like, I just didn't have the points. It's like for me, I wanted to. I only had three titans, and one of them was a reaver. So it's like I wanted them to have the survivability. So that's why I put the the frozen soul and the re regeneration on them. So, um, but even there, I couldn't get that on every single titan. It's just too many darn points. But I thought it was fun. It was a good game. Um, it was a good game. Yeah, it makes me want to play more Titanicus, which is great. Cool game. So yeah, let's uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching and listening. If you've made it this far, hey, do us a favor. It really helps if you give us a comment here in the YouTube channel. Let us know what you like. I'm sure we got a few rules wrong. Let us know, good or bad. Uh, share it with your friends and uh, give us a like and subscribe. And we appreciate your time. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.